too many of you who are about to get into the app game and hire an agency like my company, a Chop Dog, are going to spend thousands of dollars more than you have to. You're going to spend months more than you have to. And worst of all, you're going to be stressed out of your mind. Let me give you guys a few practical steps in saving thousands of dollars. First and foremost, room for interpretation is the devil. Room for interpretation is what's going to cause scope creep. It's what's going to cost you to keep adding more features and functionality and keep raising that standard that's just going to drive you insane, drive your app developers insane, and get you nowhere. The hardest thing in the world is we are not mind readers. You are the person with the app ID, not us. So the important thing you need to do, number one, is create what we call a book of Genesis. Write down as if I don't even understand what the word mobile app is. Feature for feature, detail by detail, everything from start to finish you envision for it to do. Now, not only will this help you articulate not just your 30,000 foot view, your intimate little details to your idea that we're going to need, now is the foundation to your skyscraper. And if you don't do it right, as you build a skyscraper, you have to go back to the ground floor and keep rebuilding that structure. You know how frustrating that's going to be for you? You are saving yourself months of work already. And this is gonna trickle down to thousands of dollars saved. Again, room for interpretation is the devil. When you're designing your app, design everything with no room for interpretation. Design what each screen should look like. Design the way it should flow. User interface design is three-dimensional and apps four-dimensional. Even the details a design itself will not account for. You need to define the fourth layer. Let's say you're building a messaging app. You're gonna have message threads, which means you're going to have unread amount of messages, right? It's the little red circle on Facebook, on iMessage, on Google Hangouts, whatever it is. What if your team interprets the unread count as amount of individual message threads? And what if you consider by the amount of individual messages? You can have eight unread messages, but when your understanding is all one message thread, on the development team's understanding all individual threads. Why is this a big deal? Even though it might seem innocent, that could be weeks of development, wasted, time spent that you're not going to get back, money spent on labor. Now, if you're watching this, you probably have a great app idea. Now, if you leave that room for interpretation, that 40 layer, I promise you, you're gonna be scratching your head and frustrated later on. And worst of all, spending money and time, which by the way, time itself is money, on going back redoing development work. Lock down your idea now, get all your details ready to go, figure out how to best communicate it, and most importantly, find the right partner that's gonna be patient with you and work with you all these little details.